Bleacher Report ranked the top 30 NBA duos using a number of criteria like winning percentage, real plus minus, cumulative game scoring, etc. So here's their top 10. Number one, wait for it, Giannis in Middleton, LeBron AD, Harden Westbrook, Butler Adebayo in Kawhi PG-13. But number one, gentlemen, is Giannis in Middleton. Stephen A., I'll start with you. Who's the most under or which is the most underrated duo in the NBA right now? I'm going to sit up there and say Butler and Adebayo. And the reason I say that is because you almost never Good talk one. about them as a pair. You talk about Jimmy Butler individually, but you never talk about the combination of the two. When you think about Jimmy Butler, don't just think about the 20 and 6 that he's averaging uh, in his first year with Miami. Think about the turnaround that's happened with the franchise since he's arrived. When the season ended, they were at least or postponed. They were at 41 and 24. They were a top four seed in the Eastern Conference. Conference. They've been considerably better than it were a year ago, and they rave about the leadership that Jimmy Butler brings to the table, not just his skill set. And then a guy like Adebayo, this is a dude out of Kentucky, a Newark, New Jersey native. He's 6'9", runs like a greyhound, okay. He's averaging 16, 10, and 5. Lethal in the open court, can score around the basket, and can do some things, and both of them never hesitate to defend. Again, the operative word here is under Underrated. It's not that, you know what, you, you're just looking at them and you're saying they're the obviously the elite duo, the creme de la creme. I think that's LeBron and AD. But when you talk about the word underrated, I'm talking about a pair, a duo that's never discussed. Everybody else is discussed. Everybody else is brought up. You might label them. You might pair them. You might categorize them, number one to five or whatever. But you never talk about Jimmy Butler and Adebayo as a pair as a duo and I think it's time that you do because guess what they were pretty damn dynamic themselves this season well I mean because you have Dragic you have Duncan Robinson you have a lot of guys on that team I think it's tough to say this is the duo you can you can pick them out I love the fact that you're giving them shine they deserve it but the answer is Luca and Porzingis and before I get to that I got to say what is wrong about the original list it is the answer is certainly not uh, the freak with Middleton or anyone else. Middleton's having a great year. I, I, I love Middleton. But the point in saying a pair is that both members of the pair are elite. You know, Middleton is an all-star in a good season caliber guard, guardish kind of player, like perimeter player, who does a lot of things you want that guy to do. I love Middleton. But he's not an upper echelon kind of MVP potentially caliber player. Which is why the real answer is obviously, and without doubt, LeBron and AD, or if they were healthy, Kawhi and Paul George, something like that. The reason Luka and Porzingis is the most underrated is because people don't fully realize how much Porzingis, you know, Robin in that Batman and Robin pair, is, is capable of being Batman. You know, Luka, everyone knows, he's practically averaging a triple-double. He's in the MVP conversation at his young age. He's amazing. Great. You know, the Mavericks, by the way, are a playoff contender right now. They're seven seed, but they're within spitting distance of being top four. They're three or three games, something like that, three and a half games behind the Jazz for fourth. You know, so they're right there. Poor Zingus, guys. He's coming off an ACL tear. You're not supposed to do this your first year back. He's almost averaging 20 and 10 with two blocks a game. Porzingis is a defensive monster, and his offense is just coming back. I don't think people understand the more time removed from that surgery, the more games under his belt, the closer Porzingis will be to not just being a sidekick all-star, but to being an MVP caliber value player himself. Whether or not he has a personality for it, Stephen A., whether or not he's the alpha in that relationship, Porzingis repre represents enormous value to pair him with Luka. People are sleeping on, I think, what kind of combination those two are. 
Well, here's the reason I disagree with you, because the operative word, again, is underrated. And I think everybody recognizes how big Tom Luka Doncic is. And in the case of Porzingis, all we've been waiting for is for him to get healthy, to do the 7-3 with a J. Obviously, and actually a decent handle for his size. He can put the ball in the <laughs> hole. So as far as we're concerned, he hasn't even touched his potential in terms of what he's capable of based on what we saw him do when he was a member of the New York Knicks. So nobody's questioning his game, and nobody was questioning what he could bring to the table if he were healthy. And everybody that's looked at the Dallas Mavericks recognized Luka with Chris Stapps Porzingis. From the time the trade happened, we wondered aloud what the, what the Dallas Mavericks were going to be turned into, courtesy of those two together, particularly after Rick Carlisle elected last season to in around February to just hand Luka Doncic the damn basketball and make him your permanent point guard. There's been no question about that, and that's why I don't believe the word underrated is apropos when it comes to those two. I don't disagree with anything that you're saying, Max. What I'm saying is those things have been said about these two from the moment Porzingis landed in Dallas. And as a result of that, I think that takes away the word underrated. Nobody's been talking about Butler and Adebayo. Everybody talks about Porzingis and Luka Doncic. Well, they talk of your... First of all, you're right. People don't because, talk Butler and Adebayo, I think, because Butler's unquestionably the leader of the team. Who's the second best player? Is it definitely Adebayo? Are those the two that you would separate out and say those are the two best players of the team? Maybe. I think you make a good case, and they're certainly not discussed. When I say underrated, Luka and Porzingis, I mean, everyone knows Luka. Hey, he's the MVP. But Porzingis, I don't think, is fully recognized as the caliber player he is. Stephen A., my contention is when he is fully healthy, when we look at the freak and, and Embiid and like the best seven footers in the game, Porzingis mm -hmm. will be right there with them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.